y'all hey welcome back to coffee and camping uh today i guess today's gonna be a diy video because we've got my dining room table right here um you'll probably remember me saying from our little tour i gave you guys um you know our motorhome is 20 something years old so there's uh upgrades that we'd like to do to it and an idea that i had from the first time we moved in was to take our dining room table and put a map of the united states on it um, it's just a fun way to like keep up with where we're going and where we've been and also help with the road schooling. So I got my map and I've got all of my materials. And so today I'm going to take this laminate stuff off right here, which has already been starting to come off anyway. And I'm going to sand it and paint it and put my map on it. Today I'm going to sand the table. Um, I'm going to take the laminate off of it. I'm going to sand it and hopefully get it painted today. This is going to be a couple of days worth of a project because the paint has to dry. So, but safety first. I'm going to look stylish while I sand it down. Ooh la la. You like it? Uh -huh. <laughs> I feel like Bob the Builder. <laughs> All right, let's try and take this off. Okay. A disclaimer here, um, I don't, I don't do this. <laughs> Usually I have Dathan do this kind of stuff, but sometimes I get gung-ho about projects and I want to do them by myself, and that's where I'm at today. I got this off. No more of that. Such a good piece of laminate though, I hate that it just fell away, but because uh, the table was a little more worn than we had expected, when we went to go sand it, it started to fall apart. Um, so I can't do it exactly the way we planned. But Dathan's awesome and he fixes everything. And you'll see here he's got a piece of what is that? Birch lamp, birch. A piece of birch. And he's going to cut it to size to fit the table. And then um, he's gonna glue it, and then I should be able to go from there. Now guys, I would usually use a router for this, but I couldn't find my flush bit, so. I hate started. when I lose a flush bit. Alright, so I've got my template cut out here. What I'm going to do is I'm going <coughs> to glue sorry. this to here. I'm going to be using weld wood contact adhesive. We have a big gallon of it because we use it for a lot of stuff here. Um, you can use, you can buy the smaller containers of this, Lowe's, Home Depot, any hardware store. it a little bit but they're not super sticky same way on this i'm gonna try to lay this down try to get as best as possible because when this stuff sticks it sticks stuck now what we're gonna do is come around here and sand the edges off okay so I've got it stuck down now I've sanded all my edges um, 
And what we're gonna do now is we're going to clean it off and we're gonna paint it. So what we're planning on doing is painting this. Once it's painted and dried, we've actually got a big map of the US. We're gonna uh, stick down with Mod Podge glue. And then we're also gonna write a quote across the top of the table. Um, What do you think? I love it. it looks like I mean, I did pick the color out. <laughs> mod podged our table this is what it looks like so far i'm going to go back over it one time with uh, like a, another coat of the mod podge and then i'm going to clear coat it in the morning um, but i just want to let it completely dry and just set for the night to make sure but i'm pretty sure i'm in love i'm never going to be able to part from it <laughs> this is our final product of our awesome new map table we absolutely love it because we can sit here and not only do we use it for geography lessons, but we also, um, you know, talk about where we are from right here and where we have been, which is all the way now we are right here and where we are going, which is up here. So this is our map. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just drop a line in the comments and we'll try to answer it for you.